to this episode of Ask Raghav. A lot of times we testers have this question and confusion that how much DevOps is required for testers? What should I do? What all are tools or skills should I learn to go into DevOps? Do I need to learn everything that is there in DevOps? So today I'm going to answer that. Now to start with, we have to understand that DevOps is a process. It is not some set of tools or skills. So just by learning some tools, some skills, we cannot say that we know DevOps or we are a DevOps engineer. It is a process and we have to understand this process. And this process can be implemented in several ways in different projects and different organizations. So again, there is not a fixed set of steps that we follow these five or six or seven steps or we you know, learn these seven or eight tools and we know DevOps. It is a process and again this process can be implemented in different ways. So here to start with you have to understand the process, the practices and the tools used by the company or the project. So as I said that different companies, different projects may implement DevOps in different ways. So you first have to understand the process and then what are the practices they follow for DevOps and for implementing this process and practices, what are the tools being used? So you make a list of all these tools and then you have to focus on the testing process, the testing frameworks, the steps involved in testing and its touching points. When we say touching points, we mean that DevOps is a kind of a process where all the steps, all the stages are linked to each other. So the uh, it is starts maybe from a planning phase, then coding, build, testing, release, deploy, operations, operate and monitoring. All these stages are linked to each other and there are triggers. So the coding phase will send a trigger to the build phase, the build phase will send a trigger to the testing phase, then it will send a trigger to the deployment or release stage and so on. So you need to understand that taking our testing process in the center, where is the trigger coming from, what is happening before this, what is happening after this, where is the trigger going and so that you create a picture of how the process goes and then what are the different practices and tools involved. Then they will definitely be in a DevOps process, there will be a CI CD uh, process and tools involved. There will be a version control process and tools involved. So you have to understand what are the CI CD process, what are the tools and what is the version control tools and process. Now you may not have to go very, very deep if it is being taken care by other teams, but you should understand these tools and these processes in your project or in the company. Then you also have to understand the build automation process and tools. What are the tools used? What is the process? Uh, if they are using Maven, Gradle or other build automation tools. So you should have knowledge of that. And then the deployment automation process and tool. How is the deployment happening? What are the tools used? And what is the process? Then they may be using infrastructure as code where we create some uh, scripts and some code for doing infrastructure management. If that is the case, you can also understand that process and then the test environment management process and tools. Now, again, as I said that you may or may not have to go and go very deep in all the stages, all the processes and learn all the tools, but you should have a complete picture of the process. Now, if you are somebody very new uh, in the organization, you can ask some senior to kind of draw a high level picture for you kind of make you understand the high level process where you just need to understand the complete flow from where it is starting, where it is going, what are the triggers, what are the tools used, what are the processes implemented, what are the practices used or implemented in the project. So this will give you a very high level uh, understanding and then you can start going deeper in the stages in the processes where, which is uh, more relevant to you. So this is how you start then Again, monitoring and logging tools will be involved and you can have an understanding of what monitoring logging practices are being followed and what are the tools involved and the complete DevOps pipeline. What is how is the complete pipeline and the complete process. So as I said that uh, it is a process, it is not a set of tools and this process again can be implemented in different ways in different organizations. So first you get a high level picture and idea of the complete process, then see what is your role, what is most relevant to you and then you can go a little bit deeper in that particular area you figure out find out the tools involved and then start learning the tools and the processes so this is how you can 
understand the DevOps process and work on it and become a DevOps engineer or a DevOps person in your project or team. I hope this was useful. If you have any more question for me, you can let me know in the comment section. I will see you in the next episode of Ask Raghav. Thank you for watching and never stop learning.